So I have to be honest, as much as I love this new series and I look forward to upcoming episodes, I was really not down with this week's episode and I really did enjoy the other two so I do have hope that I will enjoy other episodes because every episode has been drastically different. Um, I felt this one was kind of boring. Now I was a little bit tired when I was watching it but I wasn't like on the edge of my seat very interested to know what was going on, what was going to happen, what the reveal was going to be. I just wasn't that into it from the beginning and I thought that the end was like extremely out there and going a little bit too far and you know I can appreciate unique, odd, weird um, shows and episodes because that happens a lot in the realm of horror and psychological thriller etc. Especially in horror, especially in horror. So. I'm used to that and I can deal with some of it, but this to me was just way too weird and just honestly didn't like it. Now how I interpreted the episode, and I know with this show like it's really pretty much up to your own interpretation, and with each episode I hear from you guys and you guys all have different interpretations. Sometimes a few of us will have the same, but I've seen a vast array of interpretations about each episode so I know with this one you guys are going to interpret it differently but I took it kind of as a mockery of the I guess religion Scientology where people pay to be part of this religious organization and they have to be treated or fixed and go under treatments which happens in Scientology which was definitely what was happening with this woman and I viewed it as basically saying that whatever this religious organization was was a total scam and she was being scammed out of her money and scammed with this procedure that was happening and I don't think that the guy ever expected things to go south and go the way that they did and him you know being attacked at the end <laughs> um, I don't think that uh, normally happens when he visits these people for their procedures etc um, I think he just expected to get the money and do whatever and move on I found the procedure very 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 strange itself and I think it would probably kill most people so I'm not really sure how she survived this procedure but unfortunately she had a very sad story about sexual abuse as a child uh, which I also don't think this guy who was Orlando Jones you know character was expecting to hear either and I also found it odd that you could call the front desk and ask for a DVD player I mean does that really happen does that really go on I don't um, carry DVDs around so I've never needed that but I was just found that curious and I was wondering like does that really happen so I don't have a ton of stuff to say about the episode other than what my observations were and like how I interpreted it and I just found it like very disturbing and almost kind of silly at the end with all of the images that they were showing on the screen which I could have done without just because I didn't feel like it served any type of real purpose but um, if you liked it that's totally fine we can agree to disagree but I am wondering like what you guys saw of the episode how you interpreted it I talked to a few of you on Twitter who kind of felt as I did you weren't huge fans of it but the great thing about this show is that every episode is super different so just because it went this way this week it doesn't mean anything will ever be like that again and maybe it will be and I don't think it's fair to expect to love every episode because I love Black Mirror. I love that series. But there was a couple of those episodes which I really didn't like. And when I used to watch Twilight Zone whenever it was reincarnated maybe in the early 2000s, I remember some of those episodes not being that great in my opinion and some being amazing. So that's just kind of how this show goes. But you may be someone who loves every single episode and of course, you know, opinions are great and everyone has different ones. So that's totally fine. If you don't agree with me, that's totally fine. But anyway, I do want to hear from you about this week's episode, and I will be home this Friday. Actually, I won't be home. I Seriously, I will be home the next week. I was going to say I would like to uh, be able to be more on my own schedule, which I should be the following week, um, but we'll still be kind of on this schedule. I actually get back a little bit earlier this time. I get back Sunday night. So I will be able to do a video like this next week on the show, and I'm hoping that I'll enjoy the episode, and I'll I will try to watch the episode while I am away so that I don't get too far behind. But thank you so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. If you enjoy the show Room 104, I will be covering every single episode. So thumbs up this video and be sure to subscribe and then check out the other shows that I cover. A lot of stuff that I cover is coming back. So check my videos out to see the shows that I cover and maybe you watch those shows as well. So bye guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of the Kelly TV family. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you can keep up with all I'm doing.